Okay, here we are, finally. After a month and a half, it's here. Look at that nice tree flower grading company logo. We are finally here with our 22 card submission, finally back. Um, before we open, here's a quick recap of what the old slabs look like, the old slab designs. Um, don't have as much of a tight fit. These ones will be tighter. There will be a border around the edge of the grade. Um, that's the same color as the, uh, the frog and the number. Um, so we're hoping to get an alpha, an alpha 10, which is pink. I don't have one yet. Very excited. Hopefully get one. I almost had one of my last one, my test submission. Um, and the lowest serial number I have is a 92. So that's gonna change. These should probably be in the 700. Tree Frog is doing pretty well right now. Um, they take on other cards like MetaZoo and some other ones that I can't uh, remember, um, but they are branching. Um, but without further ado, let's open this up. Let's open it up, not stupid. Or we'll open it up stupid. Oh, I've been waiting impatiently all morning for these to come in. And they were supposed to come in yesterday, but freaking Columbus Day, all the goddamn uh, federal employees had off. So it was technically a day late, but it actually wasn't technically a day late, if that makes sense. Oh, I think it's just hard to open. Okay. I don't know which way it's supposed to open. I think I just messed up the box really bad. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this corner here. I really take the shit out of this box, that is for sure. Holy shit. Tree Frog Grading, thank you for your purchase, QR. And another great thing I love about them, oh no, that has all the grades, that had all the grades on them. That had all the grades on them. Oh boy, well, that sucks. I didn't see, I only saw two. Um, but yeah, they return. <laughs> They return your freaking uh, uh, your card, your top loaders. So we will move this off to the side and grab from there. Since there's three columns, figure out which way these are facing. Okay, it's facing. There we go. So I'd like to get one alpha at least. We have five here, six. I'd want to get one alpha 10 at least. Hopefully we can make that happen. Um, I don't know, we'll see if it actually ends up working out. But I'm just really, to have, really happy to have these guys back and protected because these are my oldest, these are my best cards. Oh, I have better ones now, but um, those will get created in the future. And this gray hairy lump here, that's my cat. He's chilling right there for right now. Okay, let's start out with our first one. 
And we're going to cover it up with a business card and see how that goes. All right. The Secret Rare Galarian Obstagoon. I love this card. This is actually my first shiny that I got in Pokemon Sword and Shield. And I actually bought this off uh, Mercari, so we'll see how this one plays out. Okay, grade nine. Centering for seven, which I think is pretty interesting. Maybe I'll ask them about that. All right. Next up we have our Galarian Slowking V. Okay, here's, I'll, I'll take them out of the bubble wrap because it makes it a little difficult to see. So I only have one of these actually. Yes, there it is, we got the Alpha 10! An Alpha 10 Galarian Slowking V alternate art. That is awesome. So uh, an, alpha, an alpha 10, so this, here's the three grades then, now that I have them. Um, so regular card, anything below a 10 gets a, a green label. Um, Bravo 10 is an honorary 10, so like 10, 10, 10, 9.5 is what I have on the Steelix. And then, which is just equivalent to like whatever, a 10. And this is technically equivalent to a Becca Gold label. Um, obviously, they're different grading companies, so whether or not they would actually be the same uh, remains to be seen. But yeah, psyched about that. Let's see how many more we can get because I kept mine pretty nice and protected, so we shall see. I think I'm going to stack all these up like this so I can display my happy grades. And we'll move on from there. All right, who do we have next? We have, okay, this is one of my Mega Charizards. Um, I have two of these. I actually pulled two of them somehow um, with the limited pulls that I got from XY Evolution. So I got really lucky there. Um, these moved around a lot, so I'm not expecting either one of these to get uh, 10s, especially since the centering is off, at least from what I remember. So we'll see what happens. Okay, a 9. That's pretty much what I expected. Um, but, uh, yeah, I moved these, these around in sleeves, so I'm not surprised. The edges are a little dinged up. Centering's okay, definitely, but definitely happy I have that. All right, I also have two of these Pikachu V Full Arts. Um, hopefully, one of them gets a Bravo or an Alpha 10. Um, we will see. Because I know one of them, there were some issues, I thought. But the other one, I was hoping, would get a uh, good grade. So we'll see what happens. All right, we got a 10. Corners are a little dinged, and the centering is a little bit off. But, you know, that's fine. I'll take it. And I'm, pretty, I'm planning on sending a, uh, I pulled a Pikachu VMAX Rainbow Rare. Um, you can go see that on my TikTok. I have that video. And I'm going to send a Pikachu VMAX and a Pikachu V so I have all four of these slabbed. And I think that'll be cool to have like a set of four. Next one. Tornadus V alternate art. I have two of these as well. So we'll see how that goes. All right, another 10. All right. Centering is definitely not the greatest on the front and on the back. But you know, that is what it is. Okay, we'll put 10s up here. And then I'll replace the 10s with my favorite cards. Oh, this is so exciting. It's like Christmas. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Oh, our other Pikachu V full art. This I don't think is going to get a 10. Um, 
you can see the right side and the left side are definitely off. I don't know about the back, but I I don't know. I don't really have a great eye for it. I think it's going to be off center. Yeah, it was off center. Center is a nine. But another 10. It has perfect corners at least. Unlike the other one. That's our second Pikachu V full art. Um, if you want to watch me pull those, I have the videos up on my YouTube. Just opening Vivid Voltage boxes, and I got two of them back to back. So this is the Single Strike Urshifu V Max. This card I'm a little disappointed with because, um, well, it's definitely off center, but um, I pulled it right when Battle Styles came out. And it was like a hundred and fifteen dollar card, and I think now it's like thirty five dollars, which is pretty disappointing. But you know, it is what it is. It's still a cool card. I definitely need the Rapid Strike Urshifu over the Single Strike, but we'll see how it turned out. Hopefully, it's a Bravo at least. Yes. Yeah, and that eight on the centering, I you know you can expect because you can see that this border right here is definitely a lot thicker. At least you can from here. I I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. Okie dokie. So we're still missing another Tornadus V alt art and another Charizard V alt art. There's the other Tornadus V. Okay, now this Tornadus V looks pretty centered. I'd say there's a good chance that this is pink, to be honest. So, oh, eight. Okay, I guess the top and the bottom are definitely a little messed up, but... It's nice that they still give me 10s with the card in perfect condition. You know, you can't really help the centering on the print. The only thing you can really help is, you know, the surface, the corners, the edges for the most part. But, you know, I'll, I'll definitely take another 10. All right, and our next one is Melanie Full Art. Pulled this round one out of a chilling range box. Another 10. Another 10 with a really bad centering grade. A lot of eights on the centering. Perhaps I can't really. I <laughs> they use a. Let's see what we got here. The shiny electrode secret rare. Um, they use, like, microscopes and, like, laser technology with the computer to measure the centered. So, I guess I shouldn't be surprised. All right, let's see what we got on our shiny electrode. And an Alpha 10 for the shiny electrode. That is sweet. That pink is just beautiful. It really is. Oh, and by the way, we're looking at the serial numbers. We are in the 930s. So almost 900 cards have passed through um, TFG since I last sent in my test order. And we can do a quick side-by-side. -side. Um, they just look a lot better. They're definitely a lot tighter. The cars aren't going to move. They look so much better. But I have a piece of history here, and I'm definitely proud of that. All right, so we got two alphas. I'm super psyched about that. That is sweet. All right, what we got here? Okay, we got our Tapu Fini GX Gold from Hidden Fates. And I bought this one off of uh, Mercari. So definitely could be dodgy. Um, definitely going to be off-center from what I've seen comparing the Electro to these other cards. Nine. Centering is awful. That is very true. But you know what? I'm just glad it's slapped. I just need to get the uh, Tapu Lele and the Tapu Coco gold. I'll have a set of four there. Okay, Full Art B. Full Art B. This one is also going to be pretty off-center, it seems. Judging based on past, 
Nine for edges. Interesting. Nine for centering, nine for edges, but still a Bravo 10. Still a Bravo 10. Let's see. We will... Okay, let's move the... Well, these are both graded the same. Interesting. Let's move the Pikachu with the bashed up corners. Um, let's take our Melanie, place it with our B. We'll do a quick recap, obviously, at the end. Just trying to get everything all moved around and whatnot. Okay, Galarian Rapidash V Alt Art. I can't remember what I bought, but I bought some random, I think, Evolving Skies thing. And I ended up getting this. No, I bought a three blister pack, and I got this out of, uh, out of it. Or not this specific card, but I have an extra. So I have two of these now. Um, let's see what we get. All right, another 10. Very nice. Centering. The eight centering is really killing me. But you know what? It is what it is. They're still 10s. They're still slab. They're still beautiful. All right, Salamence VMAX Rainbow Rare. I remember pulling this. This is a while ago, definitely. And another 10. Surface, there's a scuff there must be. Uh, almost a perfect centering. Very close. Very, very close. I think that's about halfway. Still missing the first card I ever got. Okay, there's our Tapu Bulu gold card. Let's see if we can best the Tapu Fini. I actually pulled this one. I bought this from my local card shop um, in a tin. It's very cool. Very happy about it. All right. I was hoping this would get a 10. So centering, surface a small ding. Very nice card. They look good together. Just need two more. Oh, we should replace. Uh, we will replace our single strike. We should do VMAX. We are getting a lot of tens though. Uh, I've actually only got three that are not tens. So I definitely can't complain there. Okay, Psychic Energy, Secret Rare. This is from Chilling Rain. Another 10. Eight on centering. Border on the bottom is definitely fatter. I would definitely say that. But another 10 is another 10. Let's see here. Well, we'll just move this one off because in reality, it's not that interesting with card. It just looks cool. I do like the Secret Rare energies though. Okay, Full Art Clara. This is not going to too, too good. Hopefully, it's at least a Bravo 10. Hopefully. Ah, it's a 9. That's 7. 7 centering. Oh, I wish they could have cut all these cards better. It just sucks to have something that's mint in condition. And, uh, you know, you get... Screwed over by the fact that it's, uh, you know, cut wrong because of printing, but it is what it is. So this is a very special card to me. This was the, I bought one Pokemon card pack at a local shop when I lived at my old place before I went to college. It was an Ancient Origins pack. And I was like, I'll just buy one, see what happens, like just for nostalgia or whatever. And I pulled this and I absolutely freaked out um, because it was so cool. You know, it's a gold Kyogre. It looks awesome. Um, you know, I've had, this is the card that I've had the longest, so I'm definitely, there's no way it's a Bravo 10. It's been all over the place. It's been in a 10 before I got sleeves. So then it was in sleeves and then it was in a cardboard loader or not a cardboard loader, a plastic loader. When I finally switched to plastic loader. So there's no way it's a 10, but 
I'm just happy to have it sleeve. Whoa, okay. Wow, it's actually a 10. That is awesome. I, I'm not surprised the surface is messed up, but I am so happy that this is a 10. I was not expecting this to be a 10 at all. That is sweet. First card I ever pulled. See what we got here. This is Chris, the secret rare Cresselia I pulled out of Evolving Skies. I'm having a hard time talking. Bleh, my bad. Um, I actually have a dupe of this card as well, <coughs> unfortunately. Um, but you know, I love dupes. You know, it's fine. They're cool cards. And the Cresselia Shiny is definitely a cool card. I love this card. Um, it's pretty badly centered, so it's probably going to score in the green. Yep. Centering at a 7. Most certainly. Not surprised at all. It is cut horribly. But it's in there. And it looks good. Alright. We're still missing a Mega Charizard. Oh, here's my Charizard Rainbow uh, Braxton. Um, I'm going to save that one to the end. Um, because it's my favorite that I have. And I really hope it's an Alpha 10. Um, we'll see if it actually is. But it, if it's a Bravo, I'll be happy. Okay, this is my Leafeon Alt Art I pulled right before I sent out my submission. Um, it's been in TFG's hands longer than mine. Um, which is kind of crazy. Because I like sent it out right away with my submission just as I bought Evolving Skies. So... Um, now that I'm looking at it, this, the cut's pretty bad, so I'll be lucky to get a Bravo. Ooh, okay, we scraped that one by. That's awesome. Got that 10s. 10, 10, 10, 8. Just the border is so thin. You can see how fat the border is on the left versus the right. These people definitely know what they're talking about. That is for sure. All right, two slabs left. This is the other Mega Charizard. Yep. So I think this one might do a little bit better, but we will see. Okay, we got a 10. The other one, the other one was, yeah, the other one was a nine. Um, eight on centering, nine and 0.5 on edges. This has a 10 on edges and a, um, a nine on centering. So that's awesome. Very cool. We'll put that in the bottom. All right. Now I'm hoping this is an alpha. We will see if it is. Oh, I honestly didn't even know how rare this card was when I pulled it. I had to look it up. And then it was like 140 I'm like on TCG player and I was just stoked. Regardless, I'm happy it's slab, so let's see what we got working with here. And a 10. Nine on centering. What a beautiful card. Very awesome. All right, let's do a quick recap. We did not get any eights, which is very nice. I got some eights the, the last submission I put in. The edges were pretty bad on my Shining Fates, baby shinies. So, as a recap. Let's review. We have four or nines. Cresselia, shiny from Evolving Skies. Our Chilling Rain, Full Art Clara, nine. Our Tapu Funi GX Gold from Hidden Fates. One Mega Charizard EX from XY Evolutions. Our Shiny Secret Rare Obstagoon from Vivid Voltage. Oop, I'm kind of messing this 
so hang on trying to get everything organized i got a lot of stuff here and for the bravo tens we have xy evolutions mega charizard try to keep everything in frame here our leafy on v alt art Our Charizard Braxian Rainbow Rare. Tapu Bulu GX. My first card ever, Primal Kyogre EX Gold Card. Full Art B. Galarian Rapidash V Alternate Art. Salamence VMAX Rainbow Rare. Secret Rare Psychic Energy from Chilling Rain. Single Strike Urshifu VMAX Secret Rare. I don't know why I said Secret Rare, it's an alt art card. Pikachu V Full Art, number one. Tornadus V Alternate Art. Melanie Full Art Trainer. Our second Pikachu V all or Pikachu V Full Art. I don't know why I said alt. Our second Tornadus V Alternate Art. And for our Alpha Tens, our big boys, our perfect cards, we have. Galarian Slowking V Alternate Art and Electrode Secret Rare from Chilling Rain. Guys, I am so happy with this pull, this lot. It sucks that a lot of these cards were <coughs> um, off center, but you know, it is what it is. They're in slabs now. That's what I wanted. Um, if you want to know anything about TFG, please comment down below. You can ask me any questions. I'll try to answer them. Um, there is a Discord for tree frog grading. I'll put the link down below. If you guys want to join, uh, we talk about Pokemon cards and uh, they have giveaways, special promotions for their grading and stuff. And uh, yeah, I, I'm really happy with you know what I got here. It's been uh, one hell of a wait. Um, month and a half, but you know, it was cheaper all around and a lot less time than it was to uh, do anything else here in terms of like PSA, Beckett, and uh, CGC. And I'm not really interested in reselling. So, yeah, I just wanted to do these guys. Um, and they also, uh, I believe, 5% of all proceeds go to Save the Rainforest. That's the story behind the frog there. And also it's made by uh, British military uh, forces. So, well, that's it for everything here. Um, if you enjoyed, please like, uh, let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching.